Hey everybody, David Shapiro here with a uh, video. This is going to be another tutorial on prompt engineering. Today, uh, so in the first prompt engineering video, we talked about DaVinci, which was the original heavy duty model right here, DaVinci. Um, but what today we're going to talk about text DaVinci 02, which is one of the instruct series models. So when I say instruct series models, what do I, what am I talking about? Uh, it's this right here. So um, January of this year, uh, uh, OpenAI published this blog post about um, about their their uh, their their instruct series models, and all the most popular models today are the Text DaVinci, Text Curie. These are all fine tuned to follow instructions. So if you want to follow or to figure this out, um, you can see uh, it's right here, openai.com/blog/instruction/following. I'll have a link in the comments as well. Um, so just a little bit of background about the history of where we're at. So the behavior of text DaVinci 02 is going to be very, very different from DaVinci, from plain vanilla DaVinci um, and, and DaVinci Instruct Beta. So the Instruct series are fine-tuned um, to do quite a few tasks. And so I just took a couple quick notes about different kinds of tasks. So what we're going to do is I just clicked on one of the random uh, Wikipedia articles of the day, and I'll just copy this in, and this will be our... Uh, this will be our, our fodder for, uh, for today. Um, so let's start with one task, which is uh, summarization or paraphrasing. Um, so I'll just say summarize. So you need an imperative verb. So an imperative verb is a command. Um, a, a command or imperative tells it what to do. That is the instruction. So I'll say summarize the following article. And then also let's turn the temperature down to zero. So zero makes the model deterministic, um, which means it'll give us the same output every time. So if you change one little thing, you'll see a difference. Um, so what I do often is I'll do at least two new lines. And I'll say article. Um, so one thing is if you capitalize something, it's a different set of tokens, um, which, which kind of tells the model like, oh, pay attention to this. This is not normal language. This is not part of the article. You can also do stuff like adding, you know, um, those, it kind of, that can sometimes kind of confuse it. Um, so then you just say, uh, then go to the very end and they say summary. And then we'll do con uh, control enter. <clears throat> All right. So you see the Irish Bee Conservation Project is a charitable organization, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so let's just copy this out. And I'll save it, and then we'll change one thing at a time, and I'll show you what I mean. So first, let's run it again, just to just to see that it generates the same exact um, uh, output, or at least it looked. No, did it do something a little bit different? Interesting. Yeah, it it gave me a different output. What did I do differently? It's supposed to be deterministic. Let me run this again. Did I fat finger something? I wonder if I fat fingered something on the first run because this looks identical to the second run. Let's do it. A, let's do it one more time just to be sure. Okay, that's a little bit different too. I wonder if the temperature no longer has the same impact. Okay, this is the same as the first one. Oops. Interesting. Okay, so it seems to be flip-flopping between two outputs. Okay, so that's slightly unexpected. Anyways, so let's go. So we've got the we've got these instructions, and we see that it, it generates um, those two things. So now let's let's change. Let's do uh, summarize the following article very concisely. So cons um, using adjectives, modifying the instructions with adjectives will uh, will change the output. So then we'll just say concise summary. So this word activates um, different parts of the GPT-3 model that it says, okay, what does concise mean? It means make it smaller. So now let's see, the temperature is still zero. Um, so let's see, see how much shorter it is. Uh, and we'll run this a couple times. So we have 829 characters versus 298. Um, whoops, control Z, redo. And the, the, the first bit is, is almost identical, right? Um, you see that where it just adds more. So basically telling it to be concise, cut it off at the knees. Um, let's run it again. Looks like it's pretty much identical. Yep, okay. So telling it to be concise, that does one thing. Now, 
what if we what if we take the temperature and turn it up to one? So this is how I learned all this stuff. Is I just said, okay, let me just I've got this I've got this little panel of of knobs and levers. Let me just experiment with them and see what happens. So now that the temperature is up to one, we're going to see a lot more variance. Oh, it still has concise, so it actually gave me the same output. So I'll have to remove concise. Yep, that's the same same output. All right, so let's remove concise summary. Uh, summarize the following article. And also, it's one thing is that's important to keep in mind is that this is a fine-tuned model, so its output is going to be much more consistent in general than um, ordinary Da Vinci. Oh, interesting. Okay. So this is one problem with uh, with the Instruct series is that they do tend to be a little bit more deterministic uh, or uh, less less random. There we go. So this gave us a completely different um, different output. Also, part of the problem is that this is a is a relatively short or um, not organization uh, article, uh, which means that there's not a whole lot to do. Okay, you get the idea. We've done a little bit of summarization. Let's move on to another. Whoops, uh, cancel that. Um, let's see, classification, rewriting. Um, I'm not sure if there's any classification that we can do with this. However, there is a lot of keyword extraction, named entity recognition, and dates. Um, so let's see, uh, perform NER uh, and, um, and date extraction on the following article. And so then we say, list all named entities and dates. And then one, one thing I often do is because I want it to be a list, I'll just, I'll go to the new line and start with a dash. Cause that is like a final little thing that says, this is the list. Cause sometimes the model will get confused and it'll just describe it as a paragraph. It's like, no, give me a list. There we go. Hey, not bad. So it gives me Beltane Living Earth Festival, Southeast Technology Inst uh, University, 21st Baron of Dunsany. Um, I could have sworn there was some dates in here. There's 2020, 2021. Um, so it missed a few dates, but that's okay. Um, if we turn the, well, I'm not gonna worry about the temperature. You've seen, you've seen that there's different things that it can do, um, but it did do a good job of extracting name entities and dates. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Let's go back to my list. Um, brainstorming, rewriting, classification. Oh, here we go. Rewrite the following Wikipedia article um, uh, so that it's more interesting from a, uh, let's see. So it's more interesting for um, an online um, news article. So then uh, rewrite to be interesting. And so, you know, you might, you might, your intuition might be like, well, a machine doesn't know what interesting is. It, the machine doesn't need to understand what interesting really means. All it has to do is match the pattern of what, what it has read in hundreds of gigabytes of other text of what humans find interesting. Look at this. This is great copy. And then it cut off because of the maximum length. So let's let it finish its article. It's probably just about done. Yeah. So in this case, you can see it's pretty similar, um, but it has expanded on a lot of the stuff quite a bit. Um, in some cases, it's kind of just regurgitating what it what it um, what it read up top, um, but it has definitely adopted. Um, slightly new formats, reworded it just a little bit um, to make it a, a, a bit more interesting, a little a little less dry and academic. Um, so rewriting is is another thing that it can do. Um, let's see, let's see, rewrite the following Wikipedia article so that it is, let's say, so that it is more accessible to children. So then let's come here, rewrite for children. So you see, it's it's uh, still got really similar in, uh, information, 
but instead of like pillars of support, it just says there are four things that charity does to help bees. So the language has been simplified, um, and and some of the some of the irrelevant details have been have been removed. Um, let's see, let's see. Rewrite the following Wikipedia article. Let's just do something off the wall um, in Esperanto. Um, let's see if it knows Esperanto. It might not. Rewrite in Esperanto. I have no idea if that's actually Esperanto. <laughs> um, it did something. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. In uh, in oh, what is it? There's um, BBC. Was it BBC Pigeon? Um, I'm pretty sure there like BBC has like a section that is now okay. Um Oh wait, hang on. Let's see, let's say West African um pigeon. So basically, what I'm remembering, sorry, I kind of trailed off, is uh, BBC started, um, yeah, there it is. Okay, so it does understand pigeon. So this is like a kind of a simplified English um, that is uh, uh, that is uh, popular in some parts of Africa. Um, and so you see that like um, fricatives like the has been replaced with da, dat, um, Way day limited by guarantee, that same year, e design and install. Yeah. So it's a kind of a simplified English. So by by saying rewrite, um, so one thing is in, that's interesting is if you say translate, for whatever reason, GPT-3 often gets confused when you say translate. But if you tell it to rewrite, it says, oh, okay, I'm going to start from scratch and rewrite it in this other way. Um, let me do a quick time check. Um, we're at 12 minutes. Okay. So we didn't get through too much, but I showed you some really cool things that you can do with GPT-3, um, including summarization, rewriting, um, uh, extraction, and named ent entity recognition. And we also did a little bit of parameter tweaking. So we'll call that a day. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching.